so today we are going to draw or sketch this location so this is live location i am going to do and draw over here so i just want to show you the actual view how it is uh, so this is the location drawing i am doing at the moment and uh, this is the location where it is the in united kingdom city glasgow and that glasgow we are in brentfist where we are doing the sketches so you can see this much sketch i have already made some raw level plan and now i'm going to complete this entire sketch so just want to show you like the, how i do the rendering and what are the process i follow to complete this kind of sketches so just we going to start so this is uh, addition with the last live video which uh, i did and now uh, last to last week so we will go live Printing over here, so I already. So you can see this location, uh, which I quickly draw over here with some uh, basic structure of these buildings, and I have added a few characters over here, which is not actually there in the actual sketch, uh, actual uh, location in the. But to create some interest, I have added these few figures over here, and just we are going to complete this rendering people seeing this location so wait for some time there is a some camera problem i'll just fix that and then we'll continue with the sketch so uh, give me some time second I don't want to rotate also so uh, I think now it is better over here so I already yeah I think everybody's fine right now and So we'll do some detail rendering over here. So like how the location is like where based on that we will do some add few shadows and lights over here. So we'll start with this part and then simultaneously we will do some more detailing on our uh, sketch. So basically this sketch it, it is like live practice of my series so whatever live practice i do that i do try to come live and give the tips when how i do it that particular sketch and what are the st steps i'm follow for that but to complete that particular sketch so So this location is, uh, I made it little bit more simplified because uh, as as a drawing we are not following how it is the, how the actual spot is. So based on our preference we can do the modification in that and uh, we can have a 
more interesting element uh, you can you if you want to remove something you can remove that and then if you want to add anything to create some interest in your drawing so you can add that and at the second step i am going to complete this with the watercolor and now i just want to complete this with the few details of rendering and this is the uh, the main golden point of our sketch you can see there is one tree which i shown in the beginning of the video and that tree is the main object of this sketching and after that the second level of uh, the behind that what is the house is there so that house is i draw over here in the detail and now we just adding more and more detail in that and then the next level we what we'll do we will just apply a few watercolor uh, on top of it and we will try to create more interest in our drawing so this rendering uh, whenever you do rendering you just uh, focus on the more three dimensional part uh, what is there in the actual location and which 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 will be create more dimension in your uh, sketch or the drawing that help help to understand or capture that spot uh, the liveness or realisticness and even though once you add this kind of detail level of uh, rendering or shading shadow and lights part it automatic create more and more interest in your sketch and this tiny figure uh, i always add in even though that is not there in the actual location but when you add this tiny figure so what it will tell it will give the idea about the perspective proportions and the liveness of that particular sketch and this is also help you to be when you are doing the memory drawing or some concept drawing so how you can proportionately add or how you can create liveness in your concept sketches and the illustration what you are doing and see these three figures which i added over here which is this not at all there but because of this stuff this three figure it is this figure is little bit big and this is in the depth so it is creating that depth on your sketch and this little bit ground detail will give you more idea because that is in far and then we will continue with this house more detailing more rendering yeah This part is having more shadow and the light is coming from this part so I'm going to add some shadow over here this is the most of the part is like more trees and bushes over here so this the entire uh, wall uh, surrounded by here which have some more greenery on top of it so i just then this is two figures which is very much close and just i'm doing more detailing on these figures so we are not going to do uh, too much rendering over here because we need to apply watercolor and very suggestive or just adding more details we are doing rendering over here so this is the perspective uh, where this is everything is going in this perspective
and once you add perspective in your drawing so you will create more and more interest and here in the ground there is grass is there so I'll add a few this kind of lines which will be depict this is grass and also with that we'll add some perspectiveness over here so cue some perspective and that grass level also not uh, flat it is having some up and downness so we can try to capture that over here like very suggestive very little bit uh, so tell me my voice is clear uh, because since i'm live i'm not able to know like how this everything is coming so i hope the sound definitely it might be low but you can i don't have a mic at the moment i am using the cell phone mic and that's why it might be low but you can increase your video voice and you can get the clear sound or little bit louder sound of that so we are we need to when we do the rendering we need to not focus on the one area we need to do the rendering all over and then keep balancing that part like which area you need to add more detail which area you need to add more shadows and that stuff some shadows on ground so should we give more dimension in your figure once we add that you'll create more interest and you liveness to that so this tree actually it is coming front of this house and it is covering lot of area the main part of this house uh, what we can say this corner of this house edge and That's why I told you in the beginning, like uh, we should not take each and everything because that's we whatever the time we have, we have very limited time. Within then half an hour, we need to complete our sketch. If we go with uh, more and more detail, and sometimes we will not able to finish that sketch in that time, and then we also get uh, some frustration because of we are not able to finish. You might take photographs and finish that sketch after some time also, but uh, that won't work sometime because that's the way we will keep lot of uh, drawing as an incomplete. Because after we not focus that much, like how the way we do in the that particular location, so that the similar way we won't do once or we after that we will start doing the another sketch we might not able to finish the, the sketch we draw and the suggestive detail is the main important part in the sketching because at the end it is a drawing not an actual photograph of that particular place so we keep in this thing make it me keep your line more loose more simple so you'll enjoy while doing you will enjoy to draw that should not take too much pressure and draw that you just take uh, uh, enjoyment while you do 
this kind of sketching so you feel the more you are happy the your sketch will be reflect more smooth and easiness and sketch should be always be simple like anybody can see and he feel he can also draw like while seeing your sketching or your drawing so that's why keep it line more simple more loose try to add detail wherever it is required if it is not if you are able to capture the location in minimal minimal lines that is the great part of the sketching actually even though sometime i do more details but uh, like lot of artists very famous artists they do very less detail but still they have that dimension depth and uh, they capture that entire location in within that very less lines so that's why we need to keep observing keep practicing like live practices help us to improve our skill set but our observation help us to develop our style also the while coming on the some techniques tools and strategy you need to see lot of artist sketching that will give more idea you to how you can compose how you can draw uh, these uh, things i'll tell you some few names like uh, in instagram there is a house sketchers one famous very famous artist he do lot of drawing for house and really it's amazing stuff he do and every day he is posting post one post is doing house drawing and adding that post so whenever i saw that video i inspire that with that after finishing this video when i'm editing into description i will add that link in description also instagram links and the he just recently started his youtube channel also so that is also good you can see and check like how he is render stuff over there also i have uh, some good tutorial on watercolor over here in my channel so you can see the kudaliya hire mat um, there is a lot of good watercolor tutorials do uh, start to finish we shoot that and uploaded in this channel so you can see that tutorial as well so that will give you to more idea how you can do the artist level of watercolor the kudaliya is very famous artist and he got lot of uh, national as well as international awards and from college time we are been with uh, together and we work a lot so he is having amazing uh, amazing skill set on the watercolor and soon his exhibition is going on the pune as well so i'll add that details as well in the description you can go and check that so you can see the live painting is in the exhibitions and you can see you can and after that you can understand his the skill set and everything it's a very very well known artist and he worked with the lot of detail stuff now he is worked on the nandi like indian bull series which is called nandi mahadeva nandi so that kind of sketches he did and you definitely go and see his original paintings so i'll add that links in description also if you want to see his watercolor method how he apply the color how he apply the brushes and everything so that tutorial is available here i also have last time i went live and there i have shown how you can do the human figure drawing step by step with the three to four step when you need to do the detailing and how you can start and begin with so that also tutorial is available or there in the my channel and you can see we almost add more details now this lot of liveness is come in this sketch and the next part of live session we will complete this in the watercolor and i will post the timing when i'm going to go do this liveness because now i'm here i need to go to the see some tourist place here in the glasgow i will check that if it's something there i can sketch that and i will come up with that but i cannot say timing right now and i will be connect you in the the next tutorial so thanks for watching 
I have shown this video how you can do the detailing and rendering in the sketch. Just, just we have completed and we will connect in the next tutorial where we'll do the detail watercolor for this. So I'm keeping a lot of things is very loose and simple. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the see you in soon with the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.